I'm Andrea from Happy Cloud Creations, and I am jumping on today for a little Finish Those UFQs 2021 live check-in chat. Um, it is week four starting today. Um, if you haven't joined in and you've got a lot of projects you need to finish, you can download the free um quilt project tracker on my blog which is happycloudcreations.com and here's mine um doing these with you guys really motivates me to finish things all my blue checks were things that were done before i started this with you guys and the red checks are what i've done so far um last week i had the goal of finishing my joyful meadows baby size joyful meadows quilt um i hey had to make the binding, create the backing, um, baste it, quilt it, and bind it. I got almost done. This morning I actually had to finish the binding. I only had um, like half of one side to finish this morning. So it was cool I finished that this morning. Um, and then right before I jumped on here, um, I thought, ooh, maybe I have enough time to baste my Starlight Meadows, or Starlight Mountains quilt. So if you've been in the group for a while, we did a Starlight Mountains quilt along. It's a free pattern. Um, I wrote it for the National Quilters Circle. They like to do free quilt alongs over there all the time, and they have different contributors design the patterns. So I, I'm on the ground because I just finished basting it like, 10 minutes ago and I wanted it to dry before I pulled it up and I usually do my live videos from my um table but I had to push my table out so that I could baste it um I use this as the backing which is a sheet from Target it's 100% cotton it's the pillow fort um sheet set and so it still has it's a twin size it still has a pillowcase and a um fitted sheet in there so I might be able to use the fitted sheet for a backing for a baby size, but I'm on the floor because I wanted to show you guys it. Let's see if I, how can I flip this around? There we go. There we go. There's my Starlight Meadows. So this is the backing, which I think goes together perfectly. Um, someone on Instagram was like, oh, or maybe it was here. They said they like to make their binding for their quilts um before after they finish their top so they make sure they have enough fabric well i was going to use this as my binding which would be perfect but i guess i used it as a timeless treasure stripe i used it for a different potholes i think so i don't have enough so i don't know what do you guys think do you think the dots would be too much dots with this backing or my other thought was do half of the stripe half of the dot. what do you think i don't think i can see comments say hi phone froze so i didn't know what was happening um so what do you guys think i it doesn't show comments so if you guys are commenting i'll look at the comments later um i just thought it was easiest if i just jumped on my phone really quickly stripes with the polka dot or just the polka dot so i think i have enough of the polka dot um, so I was basting this and then I got halfway done with the top and I ran out. I thought I ran out of this 505, which I've been liking this 505. Um, it's not too sticky. So I ran out. I'm like, ah, do I have any more basting spray? So I went into my family room sewing area and I found this one. I forgot how much I hate it. Oh my goodness. It's so sticky. I think the nozzle's clogged or something because the June Taylor one it just got everywhere it didn't really get on the quilt so I'm never using that one ever again I think I might just toss it in the garbage so I did find my other can of this that had like half a can left and so I was able to finish the top with the 505 so hopefully that will stay put together for me and I won't have to worry about that coming loose when I um finish quilting it so yeah, I hope you guys are getting lots of stuff done on your lists. Make sure to post it in the group. I would love to see your progress. And I'm hoping 
So the reason I wanted to get this quilt was like, I might be doing a lot of housework this weekend. My husband and I were talking about it. We might be painting like all the trim and all the walls this weekend. And I was like, oh no, I really want to get this basted and start quilting it before next week. So I'm like, okay, I'll do it right before this live video. And I made it with like 10 minutes to spare. So thank you for bearing with me through this video. I'm not used to doing the lives on my phone. I usually do them on my laptop and I can see things and I don't know why I can't see comments. So I hope you guys have a great evening and I'm not sure exactly when I'll do the live video next week. Maybe in the morning. We'll see. I will put up an event in the group just to let you guys know when and it'll definitely be Tuesday, but I'll let you know what time later, probably later on this week. So I hope you guys have a great evening. I think this is probably dry enough. I can peel it up now. My Starlight Mountain Quilt. And don't forget the free pattern. You can go to my website, happycloudcreations.com and then click on Quilt Alongs. And under Quilt Alongs, it'll show you all my previous quilt alongs and that one's in a quilt along section so you can find that free pattern there and i hope you have a wonderful evening and i'll talk to you later bye